Are we live? Is oh, are we actually live now? I don't know, the I voice in my it. ears is gone. Chat, <laughs> are we live? <laughs> I can't see anyone. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Samadhi's first ever live stream. Isn't this exciting? There we go. I can see that we're live now. Um, welcome. So this is a bit of a weird one. We've been wanting to do a concert and a gig for a long time since. Uh, since doing Notebook back at Hull Jazz. So if any of you from Hull Jazz are here, hello, it's great to see you. Not literally, of course, um, <laughs> because we can't see you. So this is a bit of a weird one. We are, uh, we, we, we're currently all the way across the country. We're spanning the whole width of the country, um, but we are gonna be playing live music today for you. I don't know how we've done it. I don't know how it's happening, but it is. And that's the most important thing right now. So I'll kind of give you a little, a little introduction to everyone. Um, so let's start with Toby Barracliffe down there in the bottom right. Toby. So this is Toby. He's our guitarist. Um, he is all the way from Scunthorpe. It depends how far you, away really? you live, really. I imagine. <laughs> I think Toby's mum's in the chat, so she doesn't live too far away from him. <laughs> but um, but I imagine a lot of other people do. So Toby, that's Toby. Hello, Toby. Uh, Hello, we James. got Laura. <laughs> Laura's next to him. Laura <laughs> is currently probably the most furthest away, most furthest most away furthest. from anyone. Yeah, most English. furthest away. <laughs> there we go. She is, she is miles away. She's in Liverpool, um, which is interesting, actually, because when we see the demographics for who's interested in the stream, um, our most popular demographic is, uh, is uh, women uh, aged 18 to 25 from Liverpool, which fits <laughs> Laura Boylan's demographic Thanks, absolutely perfectly. <laughs> yeah. so, Big up the Liverpool, the Liverpool support. <laughs> and finally, we of course have the brilliant Eleanor Beaver. She is from, she's from Rotherham. So she is, she's not too far away from anyone. She's quite no. in the middle ground. No. It's a shame because someone has to be from Rotherham, of course. Yeah. Um, so Eleanor's <laughs> taken that one for us. She's taken one for the team. I'm joking, of course. Eleanor, she's playing the cello tonight. Uh, she's our string section with Laura, who's playing the double bass. Um, and I think that's it. You know who I am. I'm James mm. Kajemvan. Uh, you've probably heard my name said many different ways. Jimmy's Kowingen, Jimmy's <laughs> Kurgenbergen, Kurgenbargen, that's a new Kurgen one. Um, if you know me by any of these names, that'd be great. Um, and of course, there's one man that you can't see uh, tonight, and that is, of course, the brilliant, most famous, Dan Johns of Dan Woo! Johns Sound. Dan John's I think, Sound. wow, I'll give him that round of applause. Mom well done, Dan. Dan. Yeah. Um, he has organised all of this for us tonight. Um, he's sorted all of this live stream out. And uh, he's, he's done a lot of hard work. He's the one who's also sorted out all the recordings um, for us that you may have seen over the past few Fridays. Um, and hopefully you're excited to see more because we'll have uh, some announcements to come uh, in between tunes tonight. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to play a couple of tunes, uh, some of which you've heard, some of which are really old, um, some of which from Hymns for a Crossing Soul, if you know that by any chance, uh, and some of which are brand new which is exciting. Brand new tunes, guys. I hope you are Ooh. fist pumping the air right now. <laughs> Have I talked for long enough? Should we play some music? That's We're going to play our first tune. It's called Greenleaf. Um, and, you know, you've probably seen our leaves knocking around on Facebook. So it's out to that little leaf. <coughs>
I hope you enjoyed that. That's my Radio 4 voice, by the way, in case you want to know. <laughs> that was Greenleaf, in case you're interested. We have recorded that earlier in lockdown, as Dan Johns has said in chat. So if you were all wondering how we were playing our instruments and typing in chat, it was not, in fact, us. Um, <laughs> I, I hate to break it to you. It was Dan Johns' sound. More like Dan Johns' text. Am I right? Um, so th that was Greenleaf. Um, our next tune is one that we've done plenty of times now. Um, it's one of my favourite tunes. We first recorded it. Uh, we didn't. I first recorded it um, for Hymns for Crossing Soul a long time ago. Sam's uh, with a bunch of great musicians. Sam Johnson on tenor sax, who is currently in the chat. Hi, Sam. Um, so this this tune is uh, this tune is Ethereal Interactions, and we, we've played it before at uh, Hall Jazz, and it's it's a really 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 uh, really great tune, I think, for all of us. Should we just jump into it? Enough of me rambling. Let's go for it. <laughs> Ethereal Interactions.
Earth Radio 4. <laughs> so that was, in case you missed it, that was uh, Ethereal Interactions. Um, it's one of our, well, it's one of my favorite tunes. I don't know about you guys. Is it, do you like it? I like yeah. it. <laughs> oh, I've played it's it right, enough it? times. It's all right. We have played it enough, played it a lot. Um, I'm sorry about my mic, um, both for you guys and for listeners. It did clip uh, a little bit there. I seem to get a little bit angry for some reason. <laughs> we can't see Dan, sometimes. but I can imagine that he's not very happy. Dan's face is probably not happy. Um, Phoebe Hutchison did join halfway through that. Hello, Phoebe. She was the brilliant, exceptional pianist on Hymns for a Crossing Soul, where that track originally came from. So just a massive well done uh, to Phoebe and Sam for shaping the way that tune is still played to this day. And a massive thank you for it as well, because we couldn't have done it without them for sure. Um, so that was Ethereal Interactions. Uh, our next tune is Sustainability. And this isn't probably a tune uh, that you know, mainly because we've never done it before. Um, it is, it's a complete new tune that is about to come out on Friday. So if you haven't already, why won't you do it? I want you to just go over to YouTube or Twitter or Instagram and just go subscribe or follow or whatever you do on those <laughs> platforms. Just search our name up, Samadhi Band. Uh, Dan will drop some links in the chat for us, which would be really nice. Um, but make sure that you go in and subscribe so that you can see this tune in a different way to the way you're about to see it. Uh, this tune's very open. It features a lot of solos, um, the first of which is going to be the brilliant Laura Boylan on double bass. Um, she's, she's, how long have you been playing double bass now, Laura? Mm, just under two years. Just under two years, and she's already this good. Can you believe it? It, <laughs> it is unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, Toby, it features a solo from Toby as well. Uh, you haven't heard enough of him. He's a brilliant guitarist. Uh, excellent, really good at his, uh, at his craft. Um, a shame that his craft is scar music, of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I promise. Ken's Should we jump watching. into it? Ken's watching, James. Ken's watching. I don't mean it, Ken. I promise. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, my tenor got stuck. I say my tenor. It's not my tenor. It's uh, Chloe Fenton's tenor. <laughs> so thank you, Chloe, for letting me use your tenor again. Thank you. 
Was that good? Did you like it? I don't know. You'll have to tell us. So that one's coming out on uh, on Friday, uh, but that's that's not going to be the version of it. Of course, we've recorded one. We spent a full day recording a lot of tunes for you guys. Um, so just as a reminder, if you haven't liked, subscribed, <laughs> done whatever, followed, I don't know what the kids do nowadays. Um, kids. Do those things. <laughs> do those things, please. It'll help support us. Um, and if you want to support us another way, we have a brand new Patreon, which Dan will drop in the chat. If you want to see, um, hopefully, an album that was supposed to be recorded this summer, but due to coronavirus, it was cancelled, I'm afraid. <laughs> Unlucky. Um, but if you do want to see that album kind of become a thing, it'd be great to have your support on Patreon. Um, and that'd be fantastic. A little note from Dan, he wants to apologise for the cello cutting out there. I don't think it was a big deal. Dan's working working really hard. Um, it's a shame that Eleanor's beautiful sounds couldn't be heard for as long as they possibly could. I'm sorry, Eleanor. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Dan is as well. Um, perfect. That's great. So the next tune, we, we've got uh, we've got three more tunes for you. So, you know, that's it. That's it, I'm afraid. Just a short one. Uh, this next tune is one you've heard. It's called Yan. I wrote it for Jan Gabarik. Um, who's a really famous, I say really famous, really famous to me, uh, saxophonist, um, and he fused world music, um, often folk music, and jazz, which is kind of a big genre. It's a big genre that I think we sit in guys, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're yeah. folk, folk, we're definitely folk inspired. Um, yeah. folk, folk jazz. Um, <laughs> so this one's a little bit weird. We're kind of getting weirder <laughs> as we go along. Only to pull it back. So bear with <laughs> us, you. guys. <laughs> it's gonna this one's gonna be really strange i apologize in advance if you're not a big fan of avant-garde contemporary music um <laughs> but i think we are um but see what you think let's know
Wow, that was intense. <laughs> that was intense for me. Gosh, <laughs> my fingers kept slipping, slipping off the clarinet. Uh, so I was very, very nervous doing that. I hope you liked that. That was a little bit weird. Uh, that was a kind of a dedication to Jan Gabarik. Uh, the composition is definitely influenced so heavily by him that I could hardly not dedicate him. Dan asked if we had some questions. We got a question. God, I feel like a streamer. How was rehearsing <laughs> together? How has rehearsing together been for you in lockdown? I'll get through it to the floor. Nice. How's rehearsing? Different. Strange, but... Different but yeah. nice. Weird. Yeah, it's weird. been it's it's been tough. Um yeah. luckily we don't play to a beat, otherwise this sort of stuff <laughs> wouldn't be possible. I say we don't play to a beat, but we just <laughs> that, didn't we? So um yeah, it's 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 been tough. Uh, it, a lot of our compositions kind of rely on um freedom and no beat, yeah. uh no tempo, that sort of stuff. Those kind of fundamental musical ideas which which really lend themselves nicely to kind of isolated music i think um it, i think it, the main it, thing is like in like in person you can like feel when the other musician's gonna yeah. go somewhere yeah, with yeah, it definitely. or like but over a screen you can't really feel that do you know what i mean so that's probably yeah. the biggest difference a lot yeah. of it has been us recording separately and then just the first time we hear the song is when it's all been put together so yeah yeah it's, it's a very surreal experience, isn't it? Where especially yeah. if you record first and you've recorded your part <laughs> and you've got this idea of what everyone else is doing. <laughs> back to it and it's, it's, completely, it's not completely that at all. Different. Yeah. Completely different. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's it's been tough as as for every musician. We've but we've we found ways around it, obviously. Otherwise we wouldn't be here yeah. tonight. A beautiful <laughs> sunny That's evening. True. Um we've got a couple more tunes. Yeah, we've got two more tunes. Oh, I'm checking my list. Um this one was a fan favourite. Um, it's called Life on a Cloud. It is our most watched video on YouTube. Um, so if you haven't gone and watched it on YouTube, <laughs> you go can now. go like and subscribe on YouTube and watch it. Yeah, it's a, it, there's no real meaning to this. Um, <laughs> I think I wrote this tune. I think after I listened back to Mary Poppins Returns, um, there's a great tune in that uh, called nowhere but up anywhere but up only going up something about up and <laughs> balloons and clouds <laughs> i was like this is fantastic why why isn't this a jazz standard i asked myself as i sat there on a lonely <laughs> sunday night and, using my free jazz tune. <laughs> and i wrote i was like i go write free jazz tune for this. so <laughs> <laughs> so this is what it's based on don't expect it to sound anything like that um <laughs> i know there's a few mary poppins fans in the audience um i think alex taylor he loves mary poppins for sure um, it's not going to sound anything like you're expecting, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but let's just jump into it. Let's just jump right into it. Let's go. Thank you. 
That was life on a cloud. I need a drink after that one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone hanging in? 31 viewers. Wow. <laughs> You're all still here. I'm surprised. I thought Jan would, <laughs> would throw some of you off. <laughs> but you survived. Well done. Very impressed. And you've made it to the coveted last tune. The last one for tonight. Um, I think this is possibly our favourite question yeah. mark. It's definitely yeah. my favourite. Yeah, I like it. Nice. I think we've said that about every team. We wouldn't be playing them <laughs> if we didn't like them, though, yeah. Um, so this was... This was... Um, this was our final tune in our whole jazz set. Um, the first time... Not the first time we played it. It's the second, at least. Uh, but the first time we performed it. Um, and, and everyone seemed to like it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. My lips are pretty dead. But I got to sleep now. Um, this tune's called Home. I should probably say, as a final reminder, if you haven't liked, subscribed, <laughs> followed, whatever you do, please do so. It really helps us out. Especially if you like what, you, what you're what you hearing. Um, uh, yeah. And if you like it so much, and you want to hear us make an album of it, and you want to help support an album, um, we do have a Patreon link that Dan's been throwing around in the chat every now and again. Um, and that would really help support us uh, make more content for you guys. I say content, make more music for you guys, make an album um, that you'll be able to enjoy, hopefully. Um, should we play home? Here we go.
So I do this really cheesy thing uh, where I talk over everyone playing so you can't hear them. Um, but I just wanted to say a massive thank you to the people that you see on your screen instead of uh, instead of um, in front of you in a pub or something. You know, this has been tough. Coronavirus, the lockdown, it's been tough for everyone. Um, and it's been kind of tough for us to not play together. Obviously, there's been worse situations. But, um, but yeah, this is it's a really nice thing that uh, Dan Johns of Dan Johns Sound has been able to fix this all up and, and make it feel like we are kind of playing together again. I remember saying at the whole jazz um, that that uh, that home was kind of a feeling and not place. And and I think I feel damned by that because when we're playing together the past few days, we've been preparing for the past few weeks, months really, um, it does really feel like home when we play together and when I listen to us all playing it, it, it's a really nice warm feeling and I hope you guys get that feeling too um, but yeah so I just want to say a massive thank you to Eleanor Beaver up there she's uh, come all the way from Rotherham to be on your TV screen um, <laughs> she's done a fantastic job of playing cello she's a brilliant musician I think she's got a musician's account on Twitter I think go and follow her for sure she's absolutely fantastic Laura Boylan oh god what can I say about Laura She's from Liverpool, um, you know, it's one of those things. She's someone, oh, someone's got to be, I guess. Um, she's, she's only been playing double bass for two years, and look, she's keeping up with us. We've been playing our instrument for a long time. She's, she's doing an absolutely amazing job. She's a brilliant composer. Um, she had a, a brilliant uh, work, um, an opera planned to be performed. Uh, but due to coronavirus, it got cancelled. So I think go follow her on Twitter as well, because she's, she's coming out with some fantastic, brilliant stuff. And it really is amazing. Much better composer than me, for sure. And, of course, Toby Barracliffe. Little Toby down there. The youngest of the group, little baby Toby. <laughs> we're we're kind of lucky. The reason he's got a four-leaf clover as his little leaf is because I think he's a good luck charm. We thought we weren't going to find any uh, any really good guitarists that could help us with jazz music and stuff. And who's this then? Here comes Toby. And uh, he's our little good luck charm, I think. What would we do without you, Toby? Absolutely fantastic musician. I think he's got Facebook, uh, maybe an Instagram. Please go follow him. It is worth it. You don't want to hear me talk about myself, so I'm James. That's it. Uh, let's play this tune out.
brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. Um, so that's been our first ever live stream concert. If you liked it, please let us know. Send us a nice message. Follow us on all these things, these social media websites. Um, we just mean a lot. We've seen a lot of great support from all of you guys um, over these past lockdown videos. And there is only more to come. We've got them scheduled all the way up to September. So, right. you know, you can't back out now. You have to listen. <laughs> Those are the rules. Um, I think I've... Uh, I, I've talked enough. I said my thanks. I probably should say thanks to Dan John Sand again. Dan's been working with us this whole time and he's done an absolutely amazing Ooh. job. I think we all agree, don't we? Um, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know how he's done this. I don't know how we're playing live and it feels like we're playing all together, but he has. And, and to be honest, wow, it's, it's a great job. He's done a really good job. So thanks, Dan. No one can hear him, um, but go give him a like and follow on Facebook because he's currently behind the rest of us and needs to catch up. Um, but that's it. So that's it. I'm done. I'm done talking. Anyone want to say anything else? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Means a lot. Awesome. <laughs> I think that's it. Are we going, Dan? Is Dan going to cut us? Let's go. Goodbye, Bye. everyone. We're Bye. going. Bye. Thank Dan's you. Dan's going to cut us off. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>